Has Nick Suriano already left Michigan? Since graduating in 2016, has any wrestler moved more than Suriano? This lengthy history started all the way back at Penn State. He then transferred to Rutgers, won his first NCAA title. He took two Olympic red shirts where he trained at the NYC RTC and then sun-kissed kids before transferring second semester to Michigan for his senior year where he won yet another NCAA title. Now, if you thought he was gonna stay at Michigan and represent the Cliff Keen RTC for his senior level career, then you may have been mistaken, because Sunkiss put out two different posts this past weekend, making it seem like Suriano was once again representing Sunkiss. Now you may be wondering, why? Why has Suriano had a hard time finding a home base throughout his career? No one really knows, but we are speculating that it might be because he wants to find the key to success. I mean, who doesn't, right? But who can help Nick win it all? Who at Sunkiss has it? Well, we can think of a few reasons why. Or should I say who? Mark Perry. Perry seems to have an ability to elevate wrestlers to the top of their game. He did it at Illinois with Jesse Delgado and Isaiah Martinez. He worked with Gilman when he was at Hawkeye Wrestling Club, and he's currently doing it with the top women's wrestlers at Sunkist. Due to Perry's long coaching career, he has a history and potentially some insight to guys who can challenge Suriano, like Thomas Gilman, the current rep for USA, and Spencer Lee, a guy Suriano has battled with throughout his whole entire career. The combination of Perry's coaching ability and potential insight on Suriano's competition leads us to believe that Suriano came back to Sunkist for Mark Perry. This is all speculation. We don't know why Suriano left Cliff Keen, but we do know that based on his track record, it doesn't matter what team he's on or what singlet he's wearing, Suriano has success wherever he goes. For everything you need wrestling, visit flowwrestling.org.